Hey, thanks for the question. So um, a common interpretation of Acts 15, as you probably know, is that the apostles taught that non-Jewish believers do not need to keep commandments like the Sabbath, festivals, and dietary laws anymore. Um, I disagree with this common interpretation, so I'm going to give a very quick explanation from a pronomian, that is a pro-law perspective, uh, but I go into a lot more detail in my forthcoming book, Remember the Sabbath. So the the question is this, did the Jerusalem Council in Acts 15 conclude that non-Jewish Christians don't need to keep commandments like the Sabbath? No. This chapter has nothing at all to do with whether or not non-Jewish Christians must observe these types of commandments. The issue confronting the Jerusalem Council was the question of whether or not non-Jewish believers must convert to Judaism in order to be saved and received among God's people. The opening verses of the chapter make this clear. Here we see that certain Jews insisted that the only way Gentiles could be saved and received among God's people was to become circumcised, to become Jewish, in other words, by ritual conversion. During the Hasmonean period, circumcision began to be associated with conversion to Judaism, and by the first century, circumcision was synonymous with Jewish identity. So this is the historical backdrop of the Jerusalem Council controversy. Again, the question in Acts 15 was not over whether non-Jewish Christians should be exempt from keeping laws like the Sabbath. The question was, must these non-Jewish Christians convert to Judaism to be saved? In other words, was salvation only for Jews, whether by ethnicity or conversion? The apostles said no, and that these non-Jewish believers are saved the same way Jews are saved, that is, by grace through faith in the Messiah. So after considering all of the arguments, James declared that these non-Jewish believers should not be pressured to convert to Judaism to be saved and received among the synagogue community, but they did need to keep four basic commandments from the Torah to show that they had fully renounced idolatry and were committed to the God of Israel. And also, verse 21 reads specifically that these non-Jewish believers were expected to attend the synagogue services every Sabbath to be instructed in Moses' teaching. So far from exempting non-Jewish believers from commandments like the Sabbath, Acts 15.21 assumes that these non-Jewish believers would be observing the Sabbath alongside Jewish believers. So I hope that very short explanation helps.